Using an existing tee pattern, I'm going to show you how to shorten the sleeves to make a three quarter sleeve knit top. And I'll also show you how to use your own color palette to add color. So let's dive right in today. I'm going to open V Stitcher and go to File, Import from Cloud. I'll head to the Women's Styles and I'm going to choose the long sleeve V neck. Select it, download, and open the file. Then go up to the snapshots and select the first snapshot to dress the 3D mannequin. To shorten the sleeve to a three quarter length, I'm going to first see what the current length is and then divide that by four to get the new length. To see the length of the sleeve, use the select tool and click on the sleeve seam. The number that appears is the length of the seam. Now you could do exact math, but I'm going to say it's about 17 inches. Divide that by four, which is four and a quarter. So we're gonna shorten the sleeve four and a quarter inches. Before I shorten, there's an extra point on the sleeve that I don't need. This point is indicating the center of the sleeve, but for this simple pattern, I don't need it. And it will make shortening the sleeve a little less complicated. So while I'm still on the select tool, turn on edit points, select the point and hit the delete key. Now to shorten the sleeve, I'm going to click on each end point on the sleeve seam and make sure you press and hold the shift key to select both at the same time and navigate to the right side of the screen to the transformation section. The X axis moves your points side to side and the Y axis moves them up and down. So we wanna use the X axis and to have the point move to the left, we'll need to add a minus in front of the number. So in the X box, type minus 4.25. The sleeve pattern in the 2D window will get shorter and the sleeves on the mannequin in the 3D window will also shorten. And the other great thing is that since the sleeves normally have symmetry applied and these do, your changes are automatically applied to the other sleeve as well. So now that we've updated the pattern, let's add some color. And I'm going to import a color palette so I can use my own colors. And my palette is an Adobe Swatch Exchange file. So if you have a color palette that you've mixed in Photoshop or Illustrator, you can use it in Browseware. You would just need to save the color as a .asc file. Navigate to the left panels and choose Materials. Then scroll down to the bottom of that panel to Color Libraries. To import your own palette, click the plus to the right of Color Libraries and find your .asc file. And once you choose open, the colors in the palette automatically appear in the window. To recolor the top, drag a color swatch to the pattern piece you want to recolor. And if this is a solid top, you can navigate to the right side of the screen and choose replace all from the replace options section. Now for the neck band, you'll need to manually replace the colors since this is a different fabric than the body. But all the other areas of the top can easily be updated this way. You'll notice that the stitching is still a grayish color. For something like this, usually the stitching is DTM or dyed to match the ground color. So to update the stitching, click the seams section in the materials area. This will show all the stitching that appears in the garment. Hover over the stitch you wanna change and to the left will be a solid colored box. Click on that box to bring up a color picker. Choose library and then choose your color. And if you prefer, you can also recolor the fabrics and trims this way as well. Now keep in mind that if you are going to make changes like this, you do need to work from the base pattern first, which is usually the medium. And then if you need to see your new pattern on a larger or smaller size, you can switch to that size after you've made your updates. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure you check out the links in the description for some great freebies. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you found it helpful. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time.